few months ago, I made a mascot horror game in 24 hours called Minced. Minced takes place in an abandoned meat processing plant with a giant meat man that chases you around. After releasing this game, I made a video on it explaining how I made it. If you haven't seen it yet, go watch it now to be up to speed. A few days after releasing this video though, it blew up to nearly 300,000 views and got me over 7,000 subscribers. This was wild, and I did not expect it at all to do that well. Even some big YouTubers were starting to play it. But there's one thing I forgot about. You see, at the end of the first chapter, I put this little screen that said if I got over 5,000 subscribers on YouTube, I'd make chapter two. So now that I have over 7,000, I think it's definitely time to make this sequel. So what exactly did I do for chapter two? Well, the first thing I need is some new level design. For this, I'm using an asset pack that I got off the Unreal Engine Marketplace, and if you didn't notice, it's the same one I used for chapter one. So I quickly got to work designing this new level. There's a bunch of halls and corridors that are perfect for someone or something chasing you. Speaking of that, I probably need to think of something. In the first game, the mascot is Chuck Steak, a giant slab of raw meat. For chapter two, I think it's about time we make a new mascot. And what would be better to add than another type of meat? I ended up making Silas Sausage, a giant sausage that chases you. I animated him with Mixamo because I still don't want to make my own animations. And honestly, he's looking pretty... After importing the animations, I made the sausage randomly roam around the map. And when he sees you, he just starts chasing you. Because I didn't want to completely redo the movement for him, I just copied the blueprint from Chuck Steaks and I reskinned it. Now the sausage worked perfectly and I can just close these doors right in his face. Now that we have a second mascot in the game, I think it's time to make some in-game advertisements so the player knows what's happening. So I hopped right on over to Photoshop and made these incredible looking Silas Sausage posters. I scattered them around the map and honestly, I think they fit perfectly. So far, chapter two consists of a giant sausage chasing you around a confusing map, which isn't very interesting yet. So I needed an objective for this level. I finally decided on an elevator, but they can't use it without getting a key card first. The player will have to navigate around the facility to find the key card, all while avoiding the giant sausage man. Now, in order to do this, I need to work with some confusing blueprints. And when I see confusing blueprints, it makes me sick. So I decided to call over my friend Stopshut to help. But when I called him, he was busy stressing over a mouse that was harassing him in his room. He named this mouse Diatlov, and after about two hours, he finally killed it. This has nothing to do with the story, but he wanted me to add it in the script, so... After the mouse situation got taken care of, Stopcha came over and used his game dev knowledge to help me get this elevator and keycard working. Now the player can collect this keycard and use it to activate the elevator. Some people complained in the first game that it was too dark, so I added this complimentary horror game flashlight. You have to collect it first though. Right now, the first level is almost complete, but the only problem is that once you enter the elevator, nothing happens. But since I'm lazy, I actually decided to just end the game here. So thanks for watching everyone. Just kidding, I made an entire underground level. The past levels have been pretty much the same style, the back rooms-esque environment, which I think is great and all, but we need to, we need to add something different. So for the next level, I wanted to go all out with the level design. I made this huge hangar-like room with massive industrial structures and machinery. This level starts out from the elevator you were just in, and then you follow the catwalks to the bottom where you have to flip a lever. When the lever is flipped, something crazy happens. A bunch of meat slabs just come out on this conveyor belt, but one of them looks a little off. And then Chuck Steak jumps out and starts chasing the player. He's mad. Okay, this little conveyor scene looks simple, but it was actually ridiculously hard to figure out. Stopshot and I took about an hour trying to get this stupid thing to work perfectly, so who even cares? It looks fine. Once Chuck Steak spawns in, we had to come up with an idea of what the player will actually do. I had a genius idea though. I took this meat cleaver model, which I found on Sketchfab and colored each one red, green, and blue. Just like every mascot horror game has. Yeah! I then color coded these weird machine things to the corresponding meat cleavers. I then scattered each cleaver around the map. The player has to run around and collect each cleaver and place them on the corresponding machines, all while avoiding Chuck's steak. I think this makes for great gameplay, but let me know what you guys think. It's definitely a very mascotty puzzle. After the cleavers are collected and placed correctly, something crazy happens. But before I tell you, make sure to like and subscribe to help my channel out. Sorry guys, I, I had to say it. So after the cleavers are in the correct spots, this giant concrete trapdoor thing opens up. Then the player has to jump in the huge hole that opens in the ground. They land on this pile of trash and walk up to this platform. The platform then starts moving ominously and eventually stops at a wall with some creepy text and crashes and the ending screen pops up. Now that I have an ending, there really wasn't much left to do except for, you guessed it, Bad lore. But one thing all mascot horror games need is some like crazy unrealistic background story so different theory channels can talk about it. 
And that's exactly what I added. I needed some lore that builds up from the first chapter, so I came up with some pretty interesting stuff, but you'll have to play the game fully to see what it is. To add this lore, I did a couple things. Firstly, I created this advertisement for the Minced Meat Processing Co., the company that owns the plant in the game. I took this video and played it through this TV, which the player can find in the first level. There's only like a 15% chance that it actually plays, so you'll just have to see if it plays by playing the game. More importantly, I put another puzzle in the first room, where you have to put these blocks on color-coded pads. This will open up a gate that lets a player collect a tape. This is one of two tapes that the player can collect, and I put the second one in the giant hangar room. You're probably asking, well, what am I supposed to do with these random VHS tapes I picked up? Well, in the last room of the game, the one with a bunch of garbage, I put two different tape players that can have both tapes inserted in them to play hidden messages. If you want to find these hidden messages, you can download this game for free in the itch.io link in the description. Finally, I needed to add a menu for my game. I settled on this modern looking design, but if you look extra carefully, you'll see that one of the buttons actually leads to merch. That's right, this video is sponsored by me. Get these awesome Chuck Steak and Silas Sausage shirts right now and use code MINTS to get free shipping. If you don't want to install the game, make sure to check the link in the description to cop them while they last. Now that my game is officially a mascot horror game, I have to be honest. There's one thing I forgot to mention throughout this entire video. It's that I actually released this game about a month ago. Since then, a couple YouTubers have played it, but not as much as the first. Even though the first one was made in 24 hours, how did this better chapter do worse? Well, it's simply because of this video you're watching. The reason Mint's Chapter 1 did so well was because I exposed it to the right YouTube horror audience. The mascot horror trend is blowing up right now, and I'm sure this video will get the same audience. So if you're watching, make sure to download Mint's right now so that we can get Cub Scouts to play Chapter 2. Anyways, that's about it for Mint's Chapter 2. If you didn't know, Stopshot actually made a follow-up to his mascot horror video, and he talked about Mint's Chapter 2 a little in his video. So go check that out. But anyways, if we can get to 15,000 subs, I'll make chapter 3. And if you really want to help out, you can always buy some merch. Link in description below. But anyways, that's about it. And always remember, Diatlov's sacrifice.